welcome back to another video this is Maz Naturals and if you have locks or you're into fitness or you like a bit of faith videos or some vlogs then why not subscribe to my channel so before you leave do hit that subscribe button right today I want to talk about how do you set it free from your locks I've been seen a lot of comments about how do you semi free form and can't really get understand why I would see those comments because you just presume that everyone in the lock community would know how you would semi free form your locks. Now semi free form is basically leaving your locks for a period of time, not retwisting and just going through your hair and separating. That's what semi free form is. And how you do that is quite simple. You just don't retwist. <laughs> you just don't retwist for a period of time. And I've done lots of videos about this. So you can check out my library. Um, I'll probably leave a link below so you can check out some of the videos or I'll leave a card so you can see how I discuss um, semi-free forming and the tips and all that sort of stuff. So basically, if you if you if you are on a, a routine of retwisting, say you retwist every month. Some people retwist like every two weeks. I've seen like videos of people say, "Oh, I retwist my locks every two weeks." Now, to me, I think that's a bit excessive, but to to them, maybe that works for them. But for me, that was too, way too excessive. Back in the day I used to retwist either once a month or every three weeks everything three weeks or even two it depends but now as I've advanced as I've had my locks for a number of years um, I know what works for my locks and what doesn't work and for me leaving a gap in between say every two months or maybe three a push that can work for me but of late I've found that when I do leave my locks for that period of time I get quite a lot of loose hairs that creep out of the front and creep out at the back you can see this I've got this scarf on um, I've actually repaired a lot I really want to take my scarf off but I'm going to show you so for instance this had a lot of hairs what came off so all I did was gather the hairs and just braided them back around so I had to I should have really shown you what it was like before I did this and I can show you actually from the front I might have to end up taking this off so let me take this off Guys, I'm due to get a retwist today. I mean, in a few days, so that's why I'm wearing my scarf. This is just too hot. So basically, this is what happens when I leave my hair for too long. And, and especially if you've got new starter locks, you want to make sure that you keep the hairs around it. Otherwise, what will happen, it will grow like this. So basically, this is it's thin, it's like on a thread, but these, these are the hairs what have slipped away from this. So once I retwist this, as you can, I'm just doing it gently, this is not how I would do it properly, then you can see that it's all in. But if I take that away, that's what we're left with. And I don't want to lose this lot because I, I took a long time to um, to start this lot. Hence why I'm going to retwist in a couple of days. So what I'll do, I will show you maybe at the end of this video um, how I've retwisted my hair. But um, 
that's what happens so if you're a person like me where the hairs kind of grow away now not all my hairs grow away I, I find that it's always the front perimeter this all of this is all loose hair all of this all of this all of this or the back All of this should be in a lock. Right, so that is what I would say that if you're going to semi free form, just be very careful that you don't make your hair grow grow all over the place if you want to keep your locks together then just you might have to wrap it around you might have to braid it in or you just might have to just retwist you might not be able to leave as long between gaps until your locks fuse together once your locks fuse together like my ones here in the middle it's all fused well Apart from this one here, you see how you can get strays. This grows on the base. These are my new starter locks, as you've seen in plenty of videos, and it grows on the base. There's no really that, that many stray hairs. It's solid all the way. That's fine. But the front ones what are growing all over the place, those are what I need to fix. But because it's been like over a couple of months now since I last retwisted, then I will retwist. So I'm going to keep you updated on how it's going. But like I said, I don't want to lose my locks. I don't want too many hairs growing all over the place. That's just me personally. I just want to keep them around the lock, which in turn keeps them strong. Unless you're a free form and you don't mind your hair just growing freely that's that's fine but if you're semi free former or you retwist on a regular basis then i would advise you to either wrap the hairs around the lock you want it to go on or you retwist but try not to retwist too tight tightly so that's what i wanted to address so basically if you want to be a semi free former wash your hair moisturize your hair and just leave it alone for a couple of months or for about eight to ten weeks or you know three months six months whatever whatever some people leave it longer but just make sure that you separate and make sure that um, you keep your locks moisturized right down to the ends because I'm finding my ends are getting really dry and I know why it's getting dry is because the weather has changed so therefore the routine should the weather has changed so you have to change your products change your wash routine um, for me in the winter time I do more auto treatments because my hair gets really dry and I try to wear a lot of hats so that the my scalp is not too exposed to the cold but also I wear try to wear um, my hair up or I will cover it with a wrap or a hat so mostly in the winter I wear wraps or hats because I don't want my hair to get so dry that they'll snap off at the ends because they've already snapped off the because of the colouring incident for those who are new I feel like I have to explain this every time I do a video for those who are all new, I had a bit of a colour disaster where I had to cut my locks and start kind of from, not, not from the beginning, but just start where they were at. So the hair was all different lengths, which they're all growing back now. And if you want to see that video or see those videos of my progression from colouring, then you can click on the card or in the description box or in my video library 
so guys i think that's all that i have to say about semi-free forming how you do semi-free forming how you can avoid um losing locks um but if you've got any other questions then don't hesitate to leave them down in the comments box below and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so you'll be alerted of my up and coming videos and guys if you've got any requests video requests then do also put that in the comments box below and i know i know i promised to do a live and as soon as i figure out as soon as i um have a day where i'm gonna do the live then i will i will post it on the community tab so that you can all jump on and i think i'll just do a q a basic q a so uh, yeah basic q a so if you've got any questions that would be helpful so i could use them in the live to answer in the live so guys thank you again for watching my video and as always stay blessed stay beautiful and stay uniquely you and i'll see you all in my next video thank you for watching